or you never know what we will be serving up. Welcome to the Brunch Ladies of Conchi Consignment. Hey everybody, welcome to the Brunch Ladies of Conchi Consignment. I had my volume off, so I wasn't sure if the intro played once or twice. All right. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's doing great today. Um, it is June 30th, 2024, and I'm excited to show you guys a couple of things today. Um, let's make sure I have, oh yes, all right. So it was a it was an awesome week here at Conchi Consignment. We had a lot of fun, a lot of cool items. I always like to show you what sold during the week and let you know if there's any fun stories behind them. Well, I have two for next week, but I have one for this week that I kind of love. And I'll be doing a post on this as well. So uh, a couple weeks ago, a woman had purchased a typewriter and she was local. She purchased it on eBay and she was picking it up. So she picked it up and I was kind of curious. And she said, oh, I'm doing a, this vintage display with it. And she sent me the photos of it. So I just wanted to go ahead and share those with you because I absolutely love what she did with this. She said she was looking for not one that worked, but this one did work. But one that was a specific color, and you're gonna see why. Here we go. All right, look at that display. Old suitcases, some vintage crochet pieces, a ladder. I mean, doesn't that look stunning? I was just so thrilled with that. A lot of times we sell the typewriters for somebody that's actually going to use them or refurbish them, but this was something totally different for this typewriter. Look at the old crystal doorknob and the yarn. I mean, she really did a beautiful job. Uh, Brianna did a really beautiful job with that. So I just wanted to show you that because I think it's super, super cool. All right, so let's get on to what our question was this week at Conchi Consignment. It was, which vintage item had a tag from Hess's department store in Allentown? All right. And you can see there the old, that is an actual picture of the old Hess's building in the 1950s in Allentown. And I just thought that was really neat. And then the logo, which a lot of us here that are local recognize. So I really, I really enjoyed that. All right, so I'm going to show you the items that sold this week and then see if you can figure out and follow along if you haven't seen already what the item is, okay? Here we go. The items that sold this week, we have a uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. We had two photographs, uh, glossies that sold. Uh, the buyer was very happy. He said it brought back some really good memories. I don't know if he was in it. He didn't really say what the memories were, but... Um, yeah, we had a little unpeely banana action figure, uh, cell, trinket box, uh, a cool vintage dress, um, a lapel pin, uh, double American flags there. We had that really neat piece of pottery. I think I showed you guys in a live sale. Uh, it was uh, Judaic art and it was Noah's Ark and it was a sought after. That was actually a bank. Um, but you can always check our check our website or check our social media if you want to see that more in detail. It was really a really neat piece of art. Um, trinket box, a doorbell, a decorative doorbell. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, uh, lots of uh, skirts, shorts, tops, lots of clothing here. Yep. All right, so that was the first first round of what we shipped out this week. All right, we had a NASA patch that is from, we still have a couple left that was from a massive collection we did. A um, You'll see here, it looks like just a, a grouping of, of jewelry, like a tangled mess of jewelry. And what this is, we sell, so if we have unsellable um, pieces of, um, art, let me see. My mom said it was weird when that covers my face, but I think there's no way else to do that. Yeah. Okay. I was just checking out the different views here. All right. So we had, um, we, what we do is like, if we get a lot of jewelry, some of it's broken, some of it's scrapped, some of it doesn't have any resale value. Maybe it's missing a stone. It's missing a piece. We lot that up in like one pound lots and sell it to, um, artisans, um, you know, I, I don't know. Everybody's doing something different with it, but we sell it as a craft lot. So nothing, nothing goes to waste uh, if we can help it. 
the um sold a pair of uh flippers for swimming body glove flippers some nike sneakers that went through if you don't know this um if you buy sneakers over 75 dollars on ebay it goes through an authentication process where they authenticate the item and ship it to the buyer so that's always i always like when we sell something like that i think it just adds that extra level um, of security for our buyers um, pair of k-swiss shoes k-swiss were my favorite back in the day um, lots of underwear lots of men's uh boxer briefs calvin klein nike uh Saks is a big big brand right now this cool coach laptop bag sold it was a coach outlet it was a small laptop bag um let's see what else of note these pants, little bohemian pants were Emma's. So she was excited to have that sale. A uh, jade and gold, I think it was 14 karat gold. That was one Molly shipped out. Uh, tie clip, that was really neat. Some West Elm finials that somebody was very happy to get because they were hosting a family reunion at their home. And that was kind of, they needed that to finish off the piece. They already had the rod. so. Um, Kind of fun to sell like parts and pieces because where people look is on ebay for those all right and let's see our last round here of items that we shipped out or people picked up we had a uh, monopoly game rick and morty um a coach tassel clip on tassel a Spider-Man cap, which sold on our website, which is always exciting. We get sales on our website. And that was also my niece's. Uh, so that was extra exciting. Uh, let's see. Shorts, shorts. And then in opposition to the shorts, we had a winter puffer vest sell, men's puffer vest. Uh, a cool, you know, spring scarf. Yep. All right, a reversible skirt. You'll see here there's a navy blue skirt that was reversible. I We don't get those very often, reversible skirts. I think it was like more of a vintage item. So there you have it. Those are, that's not everything we sold and shipped out that this week, but it is, you know, a lot of it or things you might find interesting. Uh, very busy week here. Okay, so the item that sold, are you ready for the answer? Here we go. It was this vintage dress. It had the tag sewn in from Hess's in Allentown. We had one correct guest who was actually, she lives in the Lehigh Valley, which was really funny um, that she got that answer, but it was Tiffany of Ru Russell Christian Consignment. Um, yes, another consignment store owner. That's so fun. I just love that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what sold this week. Our live sale was good. If you are watching our live sales on Facebook, I did get an important update. You need to go into your messenger and you need to type in get updates from Conchi Consignment. So when you're on the live sale and you get a message from us, you have to say get updates. I guess it's a little thing. And I will be announcing that at the, at the live sales if you're watching from Facebook. This week was really cool because we had people watching from the app the Conchi Consignment app, which you can download and do all that fun stuff. We had people like those all the same sale. They're watching on the app. They're watching on Instagram. They're watching on Facebook and they're watching on the website. So it was our first week where we had like everybody coming together, which was really neat because we have certain uh, customers that, you know, are only on Instagram and not on Facebook or only able to log on to the website. So that was really fun, you know. We're learning, we're learning it. It's just gonna get better as we go. So that was our week. That's what we have to serve up for you. Uh, next week, like I said, I already have my notes here for two cool stories of things that sold and I will be bringing those to you. Uh, so make sure you're following Conchi Consignment on Facebook, Instagram, or on our website. We do our live sales every Thursday night. In addition, we do pop-up sales. Uh, sometimes I do them on Sundays. I'm probably going to do one today. Uh, just a quick little pop-up sale. But our general sale with VIP pricing and free shipping is Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern. And like I said, you can get that on the app, the Conchi Consignment app. It's available on Android or Apple. Um, 
on our website. You can just log on to countryconsignment.com. You can see it there. You can be on our Facebook page or you can be on Instagram and kind of take part in the fun because for 48 hours when we do the live sale, it's new items that are coming in. And I do super low VIP pricing just for you guys, 48 hours, free shipping and you know, you don't really want to miss out. Plus, we have a lot of laughs. It's just kind of fun to see. I know a lot of people are interested in consignment and what we get in. So even if you're not a, you know, live sale shopper, just come join the fun. We always say it's BYOC, bring your own couch. Um, so yeah, hope to see you around and have a great day. Bye.